Welcome back for sports. The city of lights are shining bright this weekend as 10 Louisiana legends who shine on the big stage will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. The festivities just kicked off and Dylan Domain caught up with one of the legends. Yeah, that's right. We're here at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame with the great Paul Maneri. Coach, your former LSU coach, you're a World Series champion in 2009, and now you're a Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much, Dylan. Never dreamt in a million years that I would have an honor like this bestowed on me. I'm very humbled about it. Um, but let me make one thing perfectly clear. In 39 years of coaching, 15 at LSU, I never threw one ball. I never hit one ball. I never ran the bases once. I never caught anything, never pitched. Uh, this, this is a result of the efforts of a lot of wonderful young men that I had the great privilege to coach in my 15 years at LSU. And Coach, what a summer it's been, right? You get the call, obviously, you're inducted into the Hall of Fame, but you were in Omaha to watch LSU win their seventh national championship. Is it a little less stressful kind of watching it as a fan now, a little bit? It is a little bit less stressful, I must admit. Um, but I was really proud of that team because so many of the players that I recruited and coached at LSU played such a significant role in the championship. You know, Dylan Cruz and Trey Morgan and Gavin Dugas and Cade Beloso and Jordan Thompson and to go on right on down the list, Hayden Travinsky. Uh, you know, so many of those guys played such a vital role in the championship that it made me proud, you know, that n not that I had to feel like I was a part of the team, but I was happy for them. Now, I showed you this a little off camera, the picture of you and I from 2013, right? You probably heard about Dylan Cruz right when you heard about uh, young Dylan Domingue. That guy doesn't look like no college baseball player. I don't think I don't think Coach Maneri would want me on the uh, LSU team. There's no way, huh? Well, I, you know, I vividly remember that day, Dylan. I didn't really ever have that many pictures taken with people so I could re recollect that picture from 10 years ago. One last part of this this Hall of Fame induction ceremony that's pretty special is it's not just players or coaches who were born in Louisiana. It's people who kind of became the adopted son of sure. Louisiana, and you're one of those as well. Well, this is my adopted home, of course. Um, I married a girl from New Orleans. Uh, my four children all met their spouses in Louisiana. And of course, you know, I, we returned to the place where I started my college career as a player, LSU. So, listen, I, I'm as Louisiana as they come. Uh, I eat all the foods. Uh, I haven't taken up hunting and fishing to the extreme of most Louisianans, but I'm I'm just as proud to be from this state as anybody. I can absolutely assure you of that. Now Coach Maneri is being inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Plenty of festivities going on the rest of this weekend up here in Natchitoches. Now this is just the first day, so Dylan and I will have you covered throughout the weekend as the festivities will continue. That's a look at sports. We're back after the break.